everyone, I'm Faya Hune, and this is Monica Federici with the most beautiful Hello. name ever. <laughs> in touch with me on Instagram, which is amazing, and I am intrigued about finding out your brand new clothing company. So take it away, Monica. So, yeah, it's a bit of a random one, really. Um, so since lockdown started, I started tie-dyeing just for fun. Um, had a bit of extra time, it was sunny, thought why not? Um, and like the pieces that I did, a lot of people were saying, oh, I really like those, like I'd love to buy a bit, like just friends and family. So I thought, you know what, like I like taking pictures, I'm just gonna start a little Instagram for it just for fun. And um, and it's literally just blown up. So the company's called Watercolor Daisy um, and we sell socks, hoodies, joggers, basically anything you want in tight in any colors you want and um, so it's made to order custom tie-dye pieces um, and I've only really been doing it properly for about a month but within that time I've got about over 2,000 followers on Instagram which is just mental to me um, and yeah it's just been it's just blown up really but it's just it's almost was just like a side hustle bit of fun and now it's actually like becoming something pretty massive so yeah it's kind of just COVID-19 has probably done good things for me, I think. Do you know what? I think it really has. Like, my question is, how did you get to 2K followers that quickly? Because that's, uh, what, did you have a marketing plan or what? No, literally, no, nothing. Like, you'd think I'd, like, have put it all out and everything. But literally, I just started off, like, kind of following accounts that I thought like, would have like similar people that would be interested in my product so I'd look at different accounts that were like young girls or um like following accounts that were all about trainers because I do I tie dye Nike socks so I kind of just thought oh who would like where would these customers be like if I wanted to find them and then I just like followed a bunch of people and then like they followed people and obviously like as well them, them sharing stuff I think the way it's grown so massively is that the customers when they receive their products they're taking all these pictures and they're sharing and it's actually that itself probably it credits to how I've got all the followers in such a short amount of time because the customers are like doing some amazing imagery and like they're not like influencers or anything but I just think it's word of mouth and it, I also find it really interesting like where a lot of my orders are going to like I thought it's really popular like sending bits to Glasgow, Belfast, Ireland like really random places that I wouldn't think like but obviously there's a tie-dye trend going on there because like I've had so many orders from those areas it's funny. So how many orders have you had in the last month? I've had over a hundred customers so like that's not just like if you think maybe a customer might, might order like two or three things so I've done so much and like this is like on top of my actual job so it is literally like my evenings and weekends like I'm definitely not bored anymore like at home like at the start of at the start of lockdown I was like going on walks like trying to fill my time but now I literally don't have enough time in the day it's so it's so funny how things have changed oh my god I feel you since doing this creative with COVID thing yeah everyone goes oh I'm so bored I am I know I wish I was bored I can't even explain to you, like, yeah. my days. I'm like, people go, you need some time to rest. I'm like, that's bedtime, darling. I know, exactly. <laughs> people are like, you've got to take a day off. And I'm like, you can't take a day off in this. Like, I'm, I, because I literally just started it on my own. Like, I do all the dying. I like, I message everyone on Instagram. Like, it's been pretty mental. But I'm actually setting up a website. That in, that in itself is a massive job as well, because I'm doing that on my own as well. But um, I'm hoping that once a website's set up, I think a lot of people quite are quite nervous to like order over Instagram, um, which is absolutely fair enough. Um, because obviously, like, you don't know who you're talking to on Instagram. So I'm trying to set up a website just so it's easier for people to shop. Um, but at the same time, I'm quite nervous because I'm like, how many orders? Like, at least with Instagram, I can kind of control the flow of orders. But We'll see. It's exciting though, really excited. I am so excited. But what's your normal day job? So I work in buying um, and I usually work in London and my office is based in London. Um, but obviously I've been working from home since a couple months now. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I work in buying buying accessories, so it's it's all fairly linked together. And like, I definitely think my experience in buying has like definitely helped me in terms of like I kind of know how to buy in bulk and like what's a good price and what's a good price to sell at and like all of that is definitely like I've not just like suddenly started a business I think like all of that knowledge and experience has definitely helped me like kind of know what I'm doing without really realizing it um but yeah it's been it's been crazy because obviously I'm I'm so busy at work at the moment as well so it's just kind of like balancing it out and like sometimes I think I just need to leave my phone in the other room when I'm working because I want to I'll be getting messages and like I want to do it like I want to do like both at the same time but I think eventually if it carries on the way it does I'd like to just be doing Watercolor Daisy 100%. Where did you get the name from? So I kind of just like it's just kind of just like random but I kind of thought like I wanted a name that was like non-descriptive so because eventually like I know tie-dye is a massive trend now but eventually it won't be a massive trend forever so it's kind of I wanted a name that I could kind of carry through and then like when tie-dye wasn't what the next thing was that I could carry through with that name and I thought I just wanted something quite feminine and fun so that's how I literally I thought the name it was it's not like there's not a fun story behind it really no no <laughs> it's a lovely name really really nice because I'm going to be honest because I know you as um WCD yeah like, what does that mean I was like I thought it would maybe the drink or something like sort of like the drink I didn't know yeah, exactly it's a, it's a really good way because like you said once tie dye does die off you can go to something else but it's like a carry-on name and yeah. maybe the watercolour makes you think of really pastel, pastel nice, like, yeah, exactly. Because you say you could carry that on easy. It's quite creative. It's a quite a creative name. It's kind of like artistic, and I want to like obviously when tie dye does end as a trend, which I'm hoping is not anytime soon. Um, I'm I want to carry on doing like creative things. I don't just want to be buying like clothes and selling selling stuff on. I want to be having that almost creative part to it where you're doing something bespoke for someone because I think that's what people really like is having something that not everyone else has I think at the moment like obviously with COVID and everything but I think even before that there's been a like a shift in the way people shop people don't just want to buy fast fashion anymore and spend like really like little on something that everyone else is going to have they want to have that unique piece that no one else has and I think also like when you build the relationship with the customer you discuss the colors that they're going to have in the stuff and I think once they receive it it feels so much more special because it's really like someone's really thought about you when they've made that piece um, and I think that's probably part of the success of how well it's done at the moment because people have the time to really think about what they want and really make those decisions when shopping rather than when we would just be out of the shops and just buy stuff for the sake of it do you know what I mean so I think that's really true people are buying now for small businesses they're finding that they don't want big businesses yeah like you said everyone's got it and how you customly make something does make it feel really really special yeah, exactly. are you wearing one of yours right now yeah it's one of my jumpers really? this is actually one of the most popular colors um at the start, I just did like a bunch of colours just to kind of see how people would react to them. But this colour is called Spearmint. I kind of name stuff after sweets. Um, but yeah, this is, this is Spearmint and they love that. And what other colours do you do then? Uh, loads. So um, the most popular colours at the moment is this Spearmint colour. And then there's one called Fruit Salad, which is like a peachy pink colour. Um, but I've actually just got a massive order. I ordered loads of dye from the US because the dye that I was using is called is Dylon dye. It's like hand dye, which is it, which is an English brand. But um, in the US, there's so many more colours and that like you just can't get here. So I did a massive order because the shipping is quite expensive to America. But I've got loads of new colours coming soon, like neons and really bright colours. So I'm really excited. This weekend's going to be a busy one. Running out all the new colours, but yeah, I've, I've probably got about ten different colourways available at the moment. But I do just say to customers as well, if there's a colour they've seen a bit of inspiration that they want, just send it over. And if I can, if I can achieve it, then I'll definitely do that for them. Have you got any background in um, art or anything like that? 
So I, not really, no. I studied art as, like, at school, A-level. Um, that was probably like the furthest I've gone with it. Um, and then after school, I did, I went straight into like buying. So I did a year at the Fashion Retail Academy, which is like a specialised, it's kind of like university, but it's only a year long. Um, like intense like buying course and then I went straight into buying and I've been working in buying for about five years now um but no but I've always been quite creative and like it's even apart from like not even the tie-dye side to it but I think the whole Instagram part I really enjoy like taking the content like engaging with the customers like I think that's like something I've always wanted to do and like obviously I've been in buying and I've seen that in the companies that I've worked in but I've not never actually got involved with it um but yeah it's been fun to just literally be able to do whatever you want and you've not got anyone saying like you can't do this you have to post it like this like that's like the probably the best part I find is just having that freedom to literally do whatever you want it's a, it feels really good especially when you've been working in like a big company um it's just fun to kind of just explore your your own creativity which is nice yeah nice <laughs> to realize yourself what you're going to do yeah um, it's so exciting isn't it this is and it is beautiful stuff because I'm a big fan of color and bold and they really are um and it does look like you've got a really really good um um audience really nice yeah, audience. the audience is really good and like they're so nice as well like people just message me like this is amazing like I love what you're doing like the amount of people that will just drop me a message is just like so nice and I'm like oh that's like so kind that you even bothered to message me but like I've had so much like lovely comments and like people really excited about it which is so nice like I literally just started it for fun and like didn't have high expectations at all I like, didn't think like I want to make this much money or I want to grow my following I kind of just went with the flow and like it's literally blown up I can't believe it but yeah it's it's really fun like I'm honestly really enjoying it even though I'm like super busy but like because I'm passionate about it like it's just like fun as well. So how did you learn how to tie a dye and how long does it take out of your day? Like, cause I've seen your pictures yeah. and the whole garden is surrounded. Yeah, it's literally full of tie dye. It's so, so funny. Um, well, I think it was just trial and error really. I think every time that I do it, it gets a little bit better. Um, the thing is with tie dye that every piece is different and also you, just the nature of tie dye itself, you don't really know how something's going to turn out you just got to kind of hope for the best but YouTube tutorials is the way forward and literally before I started I was like looking at different shapes like how things react differently to like how much dye you put in these like how much water or salt so I literally just watched so many YouTube videos just for fun really and then like it's just trial and error like the first few that I did were like really bad but then like you you learn how to twist it a certain way and it when it turns out good then you're like okay that's the recipe for this look so yeah. it was literally just trial and error and now I've kind of like gotten through to like I know the kind of pattern that I do for my socks but again like customers sometimes message me and say like I want it to look like this and it's like a different shape that I might not have even done before but it's kind of just doing your research and like I literally think anyone can tie it at the end of the day like it's so much fun and um, I just think the main part of it for me is just how I how I'm different to other people and like how I market it differently on Instagram but yeah literally I, I didn't get like, I didn't get like taught it I've not done it for that long but it's just literally just been doing it loads of times I suppose for everyone's orders. Sounds brilliant so what is your aim then so if you could think of like what do you want to carry this in for months what's your goal with all of this? I think at the start I didn't really have a goal I was just kind of doing it for fun but like now it's grown and I see the potential like every day I'm thinking like oh I could do this I have so many ideas now that literally can't like I literally can't sleep some nights like my head is just like I've got all these ideas going around my head and but I think eventually like I just want to kind of grow it and see where it takes me I'm and like eventually it would be great to just have this as like my full-time job and like run my own little business I've always said like I'd love to run own a fashion company or like have a business um and I think the thought of that is scarier than actually just doing it and I think because I just jumped into this I didn't really think what I was doing I was just doing it for fun and now I'm like no now I've got a taste of like 
having autonomy and like be able to do stuff myself like I'd love to be able to eventually have my own brand like and I think also I think for anyone who like would ever want to start their own business it's kind of just like you just have to do it like you just have to start you don't overthink it and just jump into it like I always thought oh I need this much money to start a company like you can't just start but I think you just build things up small and and it just see where it takes you definitely oh gosh you just took me like next question I was like so what advice have you got for people <laughs> but I'm wondering how old are you I'm 24 24 that is brilliant to know that you may have your own like really really doing well brand at 24 is amazing so it's cannot stop you because people go oh 24 you're still so young you're young but you're free and your mind's like ah oh. yeah I've always been but like I've always been quite driven like for business like even when I finished school like I knew I wanted to go into fashion buying and like that's what I did so I think also not going to university probably has gained me a couple years experience where other people would only just be kind of finishing uni and like starting their jobs like I've been working in it for almost five years so for me I feel I've done it for my whole life but I suppose for people who are like come up uni like that seems like a massive achievement but yeah it's pretty crazy but um I've actually got a collaboration coming up with Jungle Club Clothing I know you interviewed Helen on one of your last episodes oh. but yeah we're she um she like put out on her Instagram like anyone who like does tie dyeing like email me, um, and I like got in contact and yeah I'm doing a little like capsule with her where I basically I'm tie dyeing like a bunch of t-shirts and I think they're gonna do prints on them, but it's just so great like for other small businesses like she's been so amazing and she's like sharing all the content on her page and it's like so amazing for me like to have the opportunity is like so good and like even just learning from her experiences running a business like it's is so useful so yeah it's really exciting and but yeah it's, it's just great <laughs> amazing I'm so glad that you've been collaborating it shows that yeah I know she's so lovely it's so good is and COVID it just shows that some people it just works like I always I've been what I've actually learned from doing all these creative food COVID is some mm. people it really bad but a lot of creative people are using this it's like they're okay I'm going to use this is yeah, not exactly. I think as well like I think it's so easy in this situation to really take the negatives and like get quite down about it when you really overthink things but like I even aside from the whole my watercolor daisy like I definitely think that there's so many positives that I've taken from this just in terms of like even just my mental health and like my general like peace of mind like even just commuting on the train every day like the, the stress that it builds up like without you even knowing is crazy and I just feel so like in such a better place than I was like a couple months ago and it's it's crazy like the stresses that you don't even acknowledge in your life and now like I feel like I would never have been able to start this before because my head just space just wasn't there like I didn't have the space in my head to think creatively so I definitely think it's been really positive and probably for a lot of people I completely agree completely agree the stresses yeah. have gone okay I miss my family and I miss my friends and I miss doing stuff but the stresses that you don't even think about the train mm -hmm. walking to work and stuff like that and it's just it just just like you say you, you you gain something out of something like this you lose some stuff and you gain some exactly. stuff exactly I think definitely it's important to take the positives and like it, we will eventually be able to see our friends again, like we will. So just just take it as, as every day, I suppose. Exactly. So we have done all of my questions, but I want to do some do some self promo. Where can you find you? Okay, so at the moment you can find me on Instagram, um, wcd underscore store. Um, that's my handle. But I will be starting a website probably. I'm hoping we'll go live within a week. Um, so it will just be watercolordaisy.com. And also have a Depop store. But I think eventually once the website starts, that will kind of like trickle off. Um, but yeah, drop me a message if you want anything Friday. Or if you've got any questions, just yeah, I'm free to answer anything. So 
but thank you so much this has been really good actually I love I, I mean I always love these the people yeah. that I'm in, I am so in, I think what you're doing is incredible and to know that you're 24 and you've had no experience in this sort of stuff apart from the, the buying stuff is yeah so proud you need to pat yourself on the back and go my I am I am <laughs> you really have and oh. I'm going to keep in touch I'm going to buy some stuff off you because I believe yeah, definitely, it. Yeah, definitely keep in touch yeah. I, I, lo I love watching like your series as well like they're really interesting like even watching Helen's one I learned so much and I think for people who want to try something out like stuff like this is so important to see like how other people start up as well so yeah it's been great thank you so much no, thank you and I'll get this out and I hope you get more customers let's get you to 5k Woo -woo. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Bye.